This is James Com, the guy on the bike. Welcome you all back for another half-ass production. And today we're coming to you from the main street of the East Village, St. Mark's Place. We're gonna run over and check a old school East Village gallery show. You can always tell where the openings are. Just look through the throng of hipsters on the sidewalk. So we're here at Umbrella Arts, 317 East 9th Street. This gives you an idea of a kind of East Village art scene. And cramped quarters that a lot of these spaces were in. This really is like the old school East Village shows. Stack the paintings from the floor to the ceiling. Stuff people in here like sardines. Feed them lots of booze. This makes for a lot of fun at the openings. There's Jeffrey Cypher's right. Well, and here we are at Rock Christie's walk in show with over 100 artists having been posted on NIFA and other things. Here's my little piece. This is your piece. Yeah, some of you. Is know, this, this title? This is called Scarf, like Scarf It Up, like a graffiti. All right. Yes, we've got a uh, army patch in there. Yeah, the Griffin. Graph. Sample with samples. And we see up here, this guy's got two pieces in it. Looks like it's peers. And we're wondering, you know, what, what happened here? This is Susan Kennedy Henry. Yeah, she got two pieces. How's that work? I don't wonder, Rob. Rob's got a big smile on his face, so I don't know. Well, you're just not a pretty girl. They're not going to let you have two pieces. This is nice, nice energy through thought action. This is Giorgio Handman. There hasn't been enough tributes to the East Village. Let's put it that way. Are we going to see some of the East Village stars out tonight? Yes. Yeah, here's Definitely. Besides Valerie. Yeah, Hi. Sorry, this guys. is called Dali on Dali. So they were all Dali on Dali, okay. Oh, you got a nice little plastic attachment there. Okay. Oh, there's Conrad Vogel. By Valerie Oistiano. Where did you get the uh, plastic genitalia? Actually, it's from a straw. A straw? It's a long straw. That well, maybe that was one of the, uh, the gifts that they give you in Cracker Jack boxes these days. Okay. Right. This is by Melissa Lockwood. Right, these are really badass and blue. Artists, really, it shows 80 artists that the East Village is still vibrant with art, new art, old art. It's unbelievable. That's interesting. By Junior Esco. Pieces. This one is by Tom Walker. He's Tom a famous Walker. actor from the Living Theater. Okay. And uh, lives in East Village. This, of course, is Kastabi. Well, we all know Kastabi. Yes, but it's a new piece just made this year. Somebody made it for him, huh? Yes, of course. Several people, probably. It changes are. And it's priced at 12 grand. Maybe Mark will show up here tonight. He was one of the stars of the East Village. Michi Cohen, a, a nice sort of uh, like a collage with an avant garde. And that's sort of memorializing the old CBGBs, which closed earlier this right. year. But sort of looks like the Russian Revolution. Here's a Chris Chambers right. sculpture piece. Here's a beautiful collage over here. And uh, by Ray Kien, um, my friend, he just passed in front of the camera. Um, it's a painting collage and wax. There's on top of it. Liz and Val piece I can recognize right there. Well, we did find the Rick Kroll painting yes, here. We did find the Rick Kroll. It's called Broken Window. Nice on this side, baby. <laughs> See, I'm making video, and what ends up happening is that ends right. up distorting the image, and it right. gets And just stretched. on top, I think you got that collage also on top. We got a lot of nice, helpful this directors is Ruth, around here. Ruth Friedman Oistiano, my wife. 
Projects and the curator of the show. You want to tell us a little bit about what your uh, thought was for the curating the show, something briefly? Just to celebrate the East Village and the history and all the people and artists who are part of it all. It was just to walk in, anybody that was connected with the East Village could bring something in and you'd hang it on the walls. All right. Uh, only two or three people were turned away. <laughs> Small reasons. Okay. Well, the show looks great. Yeah, it all worked out fantastically, even at the very end. How many artists do you have in here? I think it's around a hundred. A hundred. Uh, we had a, a rush this afternoon. I think I just stepped on two or three of them. <laughs> we had a rush this afternoon, and I lost count. So. Yeah, I should have come by, but I was wrapped up. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Yeah. Thanks, Lauren. Oh, now we've caught up with Rick Prohl the stars of the East Village art scene and uh, I was just looking at your piece here it's from 1984 now you were one of the most um, visible and maybe recognized uh, artists in the East Village and I was just thinking as I was riding over it's been almost 20 years since that uh, scene kind of wind down would you like to uh, talk a little bit about maybe some of your thoughts about it some of the nostalgia or shortcomings or whatever it was a lot like this. It was hot and crowded. That's what I thought. And it, it happened every night. And yeah, you kind of realized it was so great, kind of just as, as, it, end, as it ended. That's right. As it everybody was, so was living it, nobody realized how neat it was yeah. or how important it was. Yeah. And how the rug was so violently pulled from, from underneath it. The other thing I wanted to ask you about is there's been a couple of major um, museum retrospectives featuring the East Village. I think uh, Dan Cameron did one USA, what was East Village USA at the New Museum about three or four years ago, and um, Kyla McCormick did another one at the Gray Art Gallery called Downtown I remember. USA. <laughs> It seemed like you didn't really get the kind of um, representation that someone with your uh, recognized. Uh, it's one of those classic, of classic uh, omissions, and uh, you know, don't ask me why. But you're still here. You're still healthy. Still making great paintings, right? Of course. Well, that's the important part. They'll just be proved, you know, to be the lame asses that. No. Excuse me. <laughs> That's all right. You know, because it's, it's a glare, a glaring omission. And you're still, uh, still in the East Village, still making paintings, and do you feel like there's still an East Village art scene happening? Comparatively, no. But there's, there's things going on. Yeah. What do you think about the new galleries that are opening up on the Bowery? It's good. I've it's been good. down to check out the neighborhood, and I think they've got about 40 or 45 galleries down there now. Really? Yeah. 40 or 45? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. Really? I didn't know there were that many. Are you kidding? I'll give you the map. No, the Rick, I'll, I'll give you the map, yeah. Holy shit. Very cool. What, because man. of the new museum, too? Because yeah, because the new museum opened up down there and a whole bunch of new galleries. Probably be another uh, seven or eight of them opening up uh, in the next two weeks when the season starts up wow. again. Get on down and check it out, That's Rick. That's pretty amazing. Anyway, so we're talking with Rick Roll. Thanks for your time, Rick. All right, thank you. So, this is James Palm. View from Umbrella Art, East 9th Street, East Village, with walk ins. Thanks, Kate. I hope the cops don't catch these kids drinking on the streets. I'll write them a ticket. Used to be able to come through and hit about a dozen of these every night in the East Village.